So my name is uh, Ayaton Bet. I'm currently the director at Papink. Papink is an online gift store that operates within Kenya and uh, starting to cross over to East Africa. We deliver gifts and flowers to people all over the country. We also have a bit of us that does a bit of corporate gifting. Yeah, that's a bit about Papping here. So we started, um, officially we started around 2013. So this is ironically the time we also incubated at IBIS. Yeah, so 2013 is when we started out here. We had about IBIS as students. It has just started out. I think um, they hadn't even gotten their first cohort in. Um, so we had started doing our business mostly in an unconventional way, selling to students over there. And someone told us, maybe you should try get to IBIS Africa. So we pitched, they used to have a pitch Friday. So every Friday we used to pitch. And uh, the first time we pitched, we, did, we pitched, we didn't make it. But uh, they told us to wait until we had uh, probably done a holiday and to really understand how we could stretch this gifting. So after finishing off with one holiday, we came back to them, showed, showed them our numbers, pitched again, and this time we actually got in. So that was our story getting into IBIS. Yeah. With IBIS, we were able to leverage technology. There was all this noise about, you guys should create a website and push a website. So we created our first website there. It was very basic compared to what we've been able to do right now. But actually that's what set us on the path. And now our website is one of the biggest features about us. So we've gotten a lot of this, um, I can say, income over the years, and it's what we're now leveraging to give our clients better service. So we've really, really continued to invest heavily in technology. We have a very advanced website. We have super tracking for our customers. We, we do a lot of crazy things with tech. People are able to send video messages. So this sort of thing has given us a bit of an edge. So we're just leveraging on technology. I think a lot of people in Nairobi are trying to do personalized gifts. There's all this rave all over the world about personalized gifting. But most people don't look at the process of creating a personalized gift. So at Parpink, you can literally just go to the website, order your personalized gift. Now, there's always a question customers ask. How will I know how it looks when it's personalized? So what we were able to do was leverage on already tech and people can create previews of the product with their names. So they can actually personalize on the site see how it's gonna look, play around with the font, and then order the product. So by the time a customer is ordering, they don't get any shocks. Whatever they saw, they've been able to change their personalization. So it allows the customer to become their own designer and bring it in. So this is such a big step if you compare it to a couple of years back when customers used to order. So they keep telling you, change this font, change this font. So it's, you start having to just personalize one mug, you have a conversation for a full day. Right now the customer does it and it's almost instant. One of the other challenges that breaks businesses is financing. I, I mean, that's a cross board for everyone. Um, we've really had to... So when we finish IBIS, obviously there's a support, there's investors uh, that come through, but what they don't talk about is some businesses, especially like us, never get investors as well. So as compared to the big tech businesses that really completed high fundraises and everything, we unfortunately did not get. But fortunately for us, it ended up working out better because we were able to find ways to organically grow. So slowly, like haba na haba, pole pole, grow your business. We had to think of ingenious ways to make more money, save more money. And years later, you end up realizing that maybe the companies that got very heavy funding earlier, they've all started collapsing. And the companies that actually organically grew are the ones that will keep growing for the next few years. I feel that one of the biggest effects we have, even to the other incubators in IBIS Africa, is that it's possible to do it to some extent. I wouldn't say we are super successful, but I'll say we are surviving for the last 10 years. So we might not be getting a lot of things right, but we've gotten a couple of things right. Um, the last thing is, I know it's a bit cliche, but don't give up. Um, very many entrepreneurs actually don't get to actually actualize their businesses because they start an idea, it's really good, they spend some time on it, they hear about a better idea or something someone is making more money on, they leave their idea or they start now changing their idea to sort of get more money. So they sort of give up on whatever they had hopes on and keep changing. So we are looking at expanding into different towns. So I know, and maybe just a hint, we have Mombasa coming up, we have Nakuru, we have Eldoret, we have Kisumu. 
and we might also have Kampala coming up. So market expansion is just what we're looking at. We'll do it slow, we'll do it in our way. So don't expect anything like big tech where we have 10 branches tomorrow. No, we'll do it small. And as we go to every branch, we, we, Papink has done what it's done well in Nairobi. But people in Nairobi are different to people in Mombasa. So as we go to those branches, we will create a Papink that works for them, not imposing a Papink that worked in Nairobi.